Russian hackers were inside Ukraine's telecoms giant Kyivstar for months last year, and when they attacked on December 12th, they knocked the operator completely offline and affected some 24 million users for days. Cyber chief for the security service of Ukraine, Ilya Vichuk, spoke to Reuters exclusively. He revealed fresh details from the agency's probe into the most dramatic hack since Russia's full-scale assault on Ukraine. That this attack is a big, big message, a big, big warning, not only to Ukraine, but for the whole world, for the whole Western world, to understand that no one is actually untouchable. Kyiv Star, in fact, it's a private company. It's a big company. It's a wealthy company. And they invest a lot in their cybersecurity. During its investigation, the SBU found the hackers probably attempted to penetrate Kyiv Star in March or earlier. We can say securely that they were in the system at least since May 2023. I cannot say right now since what time they had this full access, probably at least since November. The destruction at Kyiv Star began while the Ukrainian president was in Washington to press for more military aid. Ukrainians rushed to buy other SIM cards because of the attack. ATMs using Kyiv Star cards for the internet ceased to work. But there were other more serious issues. The biggest problem was the, in some regions, air raid alerts weren't actually functioning uh, properly. So when you cannot call the ambulance, etc. So of course it caused a uh, very, very big panic here in Ukraine. Vichuk said he was pretty sure a Russian cyber warfare unit, Sandworm, carried out the attack. They identified the unit from earlier unreported attacks on other Ukrainian telecoms operators and bodies. Luckily, we, Security Service of Ukraine, we could act proactively because we were inside of enemy's uh, system and we saw that they are inside. So we just came to, the, to this telecom operator, inspected it and found them. Ukrainian authorities assessed the hackers would have been able to steal personal information, understand the location of phones, intercept SMS messages and perhaps steal telegram accounts although the military was largely unaffected by the hack. Investigators are still working on how the break-in occurred and keeping their mind open to all possibilities. Of course, the possibility of the insider of some kind of treason is one of the version, uh, versions we are working on. Uh, but for now, as uh, there are no, uh, no one accused, I, I won't make this information public. Samples of the malware used to penetrate Kyivstar have been recovered and are being analyzed. Bichuk added that the SBU had thwarted over 4,500 major cyber attacks on Ukrainian governmental bodies and critical infrastructure last year.